Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we finally have from Frail Body, Artificial Bouquet. I've been waiting to get around to this one, and it's frankly later than I would prefer. Frail Body is an Illinois screamo post-hardcore act sharing some overlap with the goth rock band Bleached Cross, who dropped their self-titled debut in 2022, along with the emo violence act Crowning, who put out their debut in 2020. But Frail Body's been around longer than both of them, with EPs in 2017, but really breaking out in 2019 with a short and pretty well-received debut. It was decent if you like that sort of thing. And now with an even better-received follow-up, five years later. And I see why, because this is an example of Frail Body taking their dissonant screamo roots and then expanding to flesh out their sound considerably, most specifically drawing upon the blast beats and some melodic tremolo shredding in black metal, and where the inclusion of Jack Shirley behind the boards makes a lot of sense, and probably explains why I've heard some very early Death Heaven comparisons. But they're also not compromising that hammering and grinding bass groove that gives them so much textured, crushing, but dexterous foundation. Hell, you can even make some post-metal comparisons on cuts like Critique Program with that filthy bass line or the thunderous devotion and a capsule in the sediment that are running up to or even crossing the five minute mark with some of the more tuneful atmospherics around them. I mean, perhaps not much in the way of conventional melodic hooks, but with the kinetic snarl of birth, the demented blast beats of Horizon Line, or the wild groove change-ups on Refrain, or that incredibly sticky guitar line and no resolution, there are a surprising number of melodies that really did stick for me across this album. Now, if I do have a critique of the execution, outside of that weird panning at the start of Monolith, not sure why that was in the production, it might come with their vocalist. Not that the screams aren't visceral, but being pushed midway back into the mix and without a lot of variation, it leaves you wishing that a more dynamic performance could help the lyrics really punch out to the surface, or add a bit more unique character to the overall composition. Positions. But you know, on some level, I do get why the lyrics sit a little bit further back, necessarily playing into some abstraction where the more direct details are sparing and important, but that kind of makes sense for themes that seem to circle around grappling the loss of a loved one, and institutions that promise more defined answers for that grief but feel increasingly hollow. They would rather have you in line than provide aid or relief, paired with the lingering guilt of not being there enough while this loved one was near or reaching out. And when they return, try and clean up the mess, well, there's a painful mundanity in the all, especially trying to keep living, hopefully finding peace. In short, yeah, it's bleak, and I'm not sure it leaks into the category of my favorite screamo black metal blends. A little bit more distinctive variants could have nudged this over the top, but you know what? When the grooves hit this hard alongside some killer shredding and potent lyrics, I am comfortable calling this damn close to great, if not all the way there. If this sound is your thing and... You haven't heard it already? Give it a shot. Check this out. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more, please be sure to like, share, drop comments, and subscribe. And hey, I know I'm late to this, but folks who are more in that screamo black metal vein, I'm curious where y'all fall on this. Yes, I know I'm late to the punch. I'm happy I can get through a couple of the acts in my backlog as I'm churning through here. Beyond that, though, anything else I might be able to do to improve my presentation, I'm all ears. And if y'all want to get involved in helping support the channel, maybe getting albums like this on my schedule earlier, or just argue with me on my Discord, link to my Patreon right over there. Don't feel obligated. Tough times. The option's available. Till then, I'm Mark, you're watching Spectrum Pulse, and I'll see you next time.